this is the 31st session of industrial economics and this session is related to external sources of industrial finance so first of all introduction funds raised raised from other than internal sources are from external sources the external sources usually include debenture issue public deposits loans from commercial banks indigenous bankers term lending institutions and foreign capital so external sources includes first one savings people save a percentage of their salary for a rainy day with the money thus saved people purchase life insurance buy stocks and bonds buy shares or de deposit in the bank thus the saved money is made available to business enterprises for further use and investment it may be said that almost all capital for investment in business and industry comes for savings of people next one loans money can be borrowed from the following sources for standard or expanding the business first one friends and relations second money lending institutions and third commercial and other banks etc so third source of internal finance external finance is shares funds are collected by issuing shares to public the number of authorized shares that can be issued and the value of each share is specified this is decided on the basis of the capital to be collected by issuing shares shares are issued for raising funds either when starting a new concern or when it is decided to expand and improve upon the existing one so after the sources of external finance the next part is the main divisions of share capital is the main divisions of share capital the main division of share capital is into preferred share preferred share as the name implies have some preferential rights over other types of shares <coughs> for example dividend is first paid on preference shares and then on ordi ordinary shares preference shares are entitled to a fixed dividend out of the profit <coughs> next one Pref oh, sorry preferred share may be further classified as a cumulative preference share they are entitled to a fixed annual dividend if this full dividend could be could not be paid in any year because of less profits to company the rest of deficit can be paid out of future profits that is profit of next year so this is also can be categorized in the uh, as a b non cumulative preference share they are entitled to a fixed annual dividend but the shareholders cannot ask for arrears from future profit if in any year the company fails to make enough profits to pay fixed dividend for that year c1 participating preference shares they are entitled to a fixed annual dividend plus something from the surplus left after paying dividend to ordinary ordinary shareholders so these are the some types of preference shares so the next part is next type is ordinary shares ordinary shareholders are generally paid a higher rate of dividend than that of preference shareholders but they carry greater risk dividend on ordinary shares is paid only after doing so on preference shares there is no limit of dividend in case of ordinary shares ordinary shareholders may get very high rewards in one uh, prosperous year of increased business and no dividend if the business encounters a difficult period <coughs> third one is deferred shares deferred shares are issued to founders or promoters of the business enterprise dividend on deferred shares is paid in the last that is first of all dividend on preferred shares is distributed then it is paid on ordinary shares and in the end whatever profit is left is shared by the deferred shareholders so fourth one is debenture business corporations having good record of earnings and favorable prospects of expansion in each surf each search for outside or external funds to support operations and growth may raise capital by borrowing it on a formal document known as debenture debenture is a certificate of indebtedness issued by the corporation so fifth one 
कॉरपोरेट बॉन्ड्स कॉरपोरेट बॉन्ड्स ऑफ टू टाइप्स अनसिक्योर्ड बॉन्ड्स और डिबेंचर्स एज डिस्कस्ड अब एंड सेकेंड वन डिसक्योर्ड बॉन्ड्स इन विच केस सम फॉर्म ऑफ क्लेम ऑन द एसेट्स ऑफ द कॉरपोरेशन इज टाइड इफ द कॉरपोरेशन फेल्स टू पे इंटरेस्ट टू द इन्वेस्टर और डज नॉट रिटर्न हीज मनी बैक आफ्टर द स्टार्ट आफ्टर द स्टेटेड नंबर ऑफ ईयर्स सिक्सथ वन पब्लिक डिपॉजिट्स पब्लिक मे बी आस्कड टू डिपॉजिट देयर मनी डायरेक्टली विद द कंपनी फॉर अ फिक्स्ड और लॉन्ग शॉर्ट पीरियड रेंजिंग फ्रॉम हाफ अ ईयर टू सेवन ईयर्स टेकिंग इन पार्टनर्स कैपिटल मे बी रेस्ड बाय एडिंग पार्टनर्स इन द बिजनेस हु आर रेडी टू इन्वेस्ट इन द फर्म नेक्स्ट बैंक लोन्स शॉर्ट टर्म लोन्स आर इजीली अवेलेबल फ्रॉम कमर्शियल एंड अदर बैंक्स ऑन रीजनेबल इंटरेस्ट रेट्स नेक्स्ट सोर्स ऑफ एक्सटर्नल फाइनेंस इज हायर परचेज द हायर मेक्स अ डिपॉजिट ही गेट्स द मशीनरी और गुड्स एट्सेट्रा ही नीड्स एंड देन ही पेज अ नंबर ऑफ पीरियडिकल मनी इंस्टॉलमेंट्स एट द एंड ऑफ ए पीरियड वेन ऑल द इंस्टॉलमेंट्स हैव बीन पेड द पोजिशन ऑफ द गुड्स पासिस टू द हायर नाइन्थ वन सेल एंड लीज बैक फॉर गेटिंग फंड्स अ कंपनी मे सेल सम ऑफ इट्स प्रॉपर्टी टू एन इन्वेस्टमेंट कंपनी विद अ राइट टू लीज बैक एट एन अग्रीड रेंट टेंथ वन इक्विपमेंट लीजिंग मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ फिक्सड एसेट्स सच एज लैंड इक्विपमेंट मशीनरी एट्सेट्रा कैन बी ऑप्टेंड ऑन लीज फॉर अ नंबर ऑफ ईयर्स ऑन रेंटल बेसिस so these are the some sources of external finance so the summary tells us that it enables the students to thorough understanding of the sources of industrial finance in india especially external sources of finance